Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Wilkin Gunther. I've been assigned as a tank driver. Hopefully I don't disappoint you. Alicia Melchiot, proud member of Squad E. I'll do my best out there. Call me Rosie. And you're picking me, huh? Good call, Hotshot. Name's Largo. I'm a Lancer. Just point me at a tank, and I'll get it out of your way. Wait, so you did all of these tank modifications yourself? Wilkes went off to university. I wanted to find some way I could help, too. I'm actually studying weapon modification now. I was hoping maybe I could use it to help us. I guess that explains why you were asking me so many questions. Well, I am an expert, but only for explosives. Is that okay? Of course. I was just trying to design a weapon that could be used for support fire. In that case... This mortar would be perfect. Huh? Isara, we need to hide. Right. Imperial Scouts. It doesn't look like they've noticed us yet. It must be a reconnaissance team observing the base. We need to go tell Welks and the others. Isara, wait. You hear something? I think they're at the perfect range. This is the kind of situation mortars are made for. Wait, we're gonna fight them on our own? Experience is the best teacher after all. Come on, let's get them. Okay, Sara. Here's how we're gonna do this. Trust me, these mortars are amazing, but you should really see for yourself. Come on, let's go! You don't have to be nervous. Just try your best. Right, I'll try to follow your lead. Now try for that enemy further down the line. That one? Right. So if the point of impact needs to be there, the launching angle should be...
more for me.
All right. Now that's how you use a mortar. <sighs> that was amazing, Riley. You're a real force on the battlefield. Well, when you hang out with those blockheads, you start building up stamina whether you like it or not. But you've got a real knack for this, too. I can't believe you figured out mortar adjustments on the fly. My father was an incredible engineer. I guess that's where I picked it up from. Your father? So, not General Gunther, then. I guess that means your real dad, huh? Yes. He was the one who designed the General's tank. That's my dream. One day, I want to complete the research my father left behind. Wow, I... We might be the same in a lot of ways. What do you mean? I'm working from my dad's research, too. We've been using it to fight back against the Empire. Uh. Hey, Isara. I know we're fighting different battles, but... I think we're fighting for the same things. Our father's legacies. And their wish to protect Galia. And we'll make that wish come true. Right? Yes. But... I still feel so powerless. I don't have the knowledge, the skills, the stamina. You'll be fine, Isara. I think you're a lot stronger than you realize. Think about it. How many people could fix up an old tank from the last war? How about... We make a promise. We're both gonna do our best to make our father's wishes come true. Riley... Yes, I promise. I'll help end this war, and once Gali is peaceful again... I'm going to finish my father's research. I'm going to make his dreams a reality. Good. Come on, we should head back. We can just keep this training our little secret. Maybe you can surprise everyone later. Roger. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Isara Gunther. I'll do my best to contribute to the squad.